The next taping that we're going to do is going to be an open basket, open ankle basket weave taping. This is for an individual who has an, uh, uh, some swelling or inflammation, maybe even for an uh, acute sprain or injury to the ankle, uh, or we would not want to put a closed basket weave on there. Um, so with this one, uh, again, we try to have the area uh, shaved uh, before we put this taping on. We'd want to spray it with, make sure we spray it with tough skin. And for this one, we're basically not going to put any tape in the front, so if you, you can use the heel and lace pads, but you won't need um, one in the front in the lace areas, but you can put the two in the back uh, to protect the Achilles tendon. Uh, we also want to put the, the pre-wrap on. Normally you want to tape this up to just the, the base of the calf. And we're going to use, uh, you can either use one and a half inch non-elastic tape or two inch tape if you have it. Like I said, uh, for this we're going to put our anchors on the top anchors. Again, we're going to leave an opening here in the front on the anterior part uh, and these are angling down just slightly because of the, the calf is wider at the top and narrow at the an ankle. So these are anchor strips are overlapped by 50%. Okay, and then we're also going to put an anchor down here at the bottom. Again, uh, right on the heel just going up to the uh, malleolus. Again, you can either put uh, uh, one or two there. Okay, then we're gonna, just like the uh, closed basket weave, we're gonna interlock our stirrups. We're gonna go uh, from the top anchor back to the top anchor, and then our horseshoes are gonna go on the bottom one. So we're, first we're gonna put on our first uh, stirrup. Again, these are going to go from medial to lateral, okay, for an inversion ankle sprain. If they have an eversion ankle sprain, then we would do the reverse. We would go from the lateral side to the medial side. So it's also important to know what, uh, which way to pull the tape correctly. Okay, so for this one, again, it's going to go just slightly behind the malleolus and attach up to the top anchor, um, pulling it. Superior as you apply the tape. Again, asking them to pull into dorsiflexion and stay in that position as you apply the tape. Uh, next, you're going to apply the first horseshoe. It's going to attach to your anchor strips. And normally, I usually put this at the at the so that it goes over the just touching the bottom of the malleolus. Uh, usually, about one inch up from the bottom. Again, you can either go medial to lateral or lateral. The medial doesn't matter on the horseshoes. Now we're going to do our second stirrup. Again, that's going to cross the center of the malleolus. Again, just going straight down. Again, we want to go medial to lateral. Again, pulling up on the lateral side, uh, noticing that we try to overlap our tape 50%. Then we're going to put our second horseshoe, again overlapping 50%, attaching it anchor to anchor, again overlapping 50%. Our third stirrup is going to angle slightly uh, laterally, or kind of starts on the medial side and it might go towards the center of the malleolus because if it goes straight it'll probably wrinkle slightly so just depending on the individual it may go to the same landmark as your 
second stir up and this is going to be again pulling to the lateral side so now our malleolus is covered up with our uh, stirrups so and now we're going to add our third and final horseshoe again this is going to again overlapping 50% And another thing I wanted to mention on, the, on these horseshoes is you may need to angle it. It may not go straight. You may need to angle it slightly down. Uh, again, because as the distal leg widens, you're going to have to angle the tape downward slightly. Okay. Again, we still have the front of our and top of our foot all open. Um, when we're done with this, then we can put our closures on, we can put our top closures on. Again, it doesn't, some people will, will either do the top one first or the top last, it just kind of depends. It, obviously, we do want it to attach to the skin. Again, these are angling slightly done. Downward direction. Uh, so we put our closures at the top and then we also put our closures at the, at the bottom. Make sure, again, we're not crossing the uh, center of the injury. Once we have that on, uh, then we can apply an elastic wrap. Uh, this is a four inch elastic wrap. Again, because we're gonna try to keep the, push the swelling up into the, uh, up and out of the area. So apply our elastic wrap at about 80% pull. Uh, working from the toes down to the lower leg. And there's also some athletic trainers who also may make it a little bit tighter down here at the toes than up here. To again, the idea there is just to flush the, the swelling um, out, up and out of the, out of the area. So again, once we have the end of the wrap, we can ask the athlete to hold that for us while we uh, tape it down. I'm going to use uh, white tape. Again, I'm angling slightly down, so if I just use one strip, so I'd go around and I'd put a little fold in the tape. And I'd put two of these on there. Again, I can check for the sensation and the effectiveness of the taping. Again, hopefully there shouldn't be any wrinkles on the taping. And that's it for our open uh, basket weave, ankle basket weave.